Uh, thank you, Pastor Kurt. Um, you know, uh, I was sitting uh, there uh, last Sunday, and uh, you were telling us how people during Jesus' times were wanting to tell their story, what Jesus had done for them, all the miracles, and they could hardly wait and tell it. And uh, that we should feel that way, go tell our story. So this is my story. I grew up Catholic during my childhood. To tell you the truth, I did not understand what that meant, and I didn't care much. When I was 18, I experienced his presence when I denied his existence for the first time. One evening, a friend of mine asked me if I believed in God. My answer was no. Right after that, I started to feel ill. I felt like I was going to vomit. I could hardly move. I felt like I was going to pass out. I slowly moved straight to the restroom and sat on the toilet seat. I couldn't move. I felt like I was going to pass out. For a few minutes, I remember murmuring, please, please stop. It's painful. Gradually, I regained mobility, and I started moving back again and returned to my friends. I did not know what just happened. What did just happen? I wonder, I had never felt that sensation before. At the university, I grew up to become a full core atheist. It was all about me, myself, and I. My studies in science, philosophy, history, anthropology, and the liberal education made me believe that God was not real. I truly believe that God had been created by man to control the masses for political power and economic expansion and world domination. I truly believe that we were creation of evolution and not of a divine power source. In my mid-twenties and having a notion of self-improvement, self-actualization, and self-growth, I continue having great success in my professional and personal life. This fleshly success continued fueling my belief that I was in control of my life, my destiny, it could, and I could accomplish anything I wanted to accomplish. Money, parties, drinking, girlfriends were my prize for working so hard. I was living in, a, in paradise, I thought, and after all, I could steer my life and my destiny any direction I wanted to go. I got married in my mid-30s to my beautiful wife, Claudia. We had two beautiful daughters. We brought them up in a Catholic church setting just because my wife's request. I could care less about just to please her, I went along with her. Time went by and throughout the years, all of them started to think and contemplate the idea that maybe God was not real. I believe that this was the breaking point in my life. My heart hardened. I hated myself. I hated people in general. I was angry to the world. I had resentment. I was afraid of the future. I was scared of the unknown. I was anxious about everything. I used alcohol to stop the pain. I was totally lost. One afternoon, feeling overwhelmed, stressed out, and angry to my wife, daughters, and the rest of the world, I walked out in the backyard with an angry tone in daring attitude and started talking out loud to God saying, you do not exist, you're not real. So much injustice in the world. If you were so real, you wouldn't allow it. I was talking to a God that supposedly I did not believe in. I began to feel sick. I felt pressure in the back of my neck and my back. I felt like I was going to vomit. I could not move. I felt paralyzed. It was something similar to that that I had experienced when I denied him for the first time as a teenager. I heard it in my mind saying, I'm real. I do exist and I'm with you. How did this happen? Why did I hear that in my mind? Was God answering me? Did he want me to hear him clearly so I could finally believe in him? With tears in my eyes, gradually started to move back again. 
without hesitation, rushed to my and to tell my wife, Claudia, what just, just happened. We both cried and were thankful to the Lord for this miracle. My story is about the miracle that the Lord did for me to show me that He's real and that He exists and that He is with us. I'm telling you my story because you need to hear it. If you believe in Him and His divinity and His divine power, this is the only thing you need to know. I was an unbeliever and by His grace and mercy and His love for me made me realize that He is real. He does exist and that He is with me everywhere I go. At the point made me realize that through my faith in what Jesus Christ did in the cross for me, now I have a personal relationship with God. So I'm totally bought in. Thank you.